hey everyone welcome again on devish tag and let's continue the last video and uh, sorry for uploading the video very late some construction work is going on in my home and there is a lot of noise and as of now i don't have any kind of mics but soon i will buy a mic and along with the mac so i can start working on the ios app as well and uh, in the last video what we did that we are able to send the image from the one user and also we are able to render that image on the individual chat page so suppose uh, like right now i have two different mobiles so if i will select balram rathore as a one user on this uh, app and if i will select devish tech as a second user of this app and let's talk here so this is devish tech and this is balram so if i will okay i have to make sure to change the ip address first so first thing is i have to make sure to change this ip address that is a last ip address and current ip address is this okay always we have to change the all the time the ip address ip addresses are not static it's dynamic because of that we have to change it all the time and let me refresh the page again and let me select as a balram rator and go on a devish tag chat okay and let's see first thing let's test that everything is working or not hey so we are receiving a message hi there yeah so everything is working fine okay we are able to send and receive the messages in the last video what we covered we are able to send the image i mean we are able to upload the image on the backend and also we are rendered to show the image on the own app okay not in a other user app so that thing we have to cover in this video okay so the first thing we have to do that we have to make this uploads folder static as of now we are able to upload the images on the back end side but we don't have any api in point to use that image on the other user app as of now so what we have to do let me go on index.js on the back end code and in index.js what we have to do that we have to add a one line code that will make this uploads folder as a static and we are the end point we can access all of the images which we stored on this uploads folder okay so here if you just see the message which we are sending from the one user to another user that contain the message as of now at the time of uploading we haven't added any messages that's why it's empty source id and the target id along with the path the path is the exact name of the image which we are storing in the backend okay so what we have to do that let me just copy this path as of now so i have to demonstrate one thing okay this uh linux machine and in the linux machine all the time if i will use the control c so it will stop so let's use control c c and first thing let me check that everything is working fine again or not because yeah i have stopped the server okay now it's not working so let me just open the chat app and let me just refresh the page to make sure everything work, will work fine and uh, here let me select a balram rator and let me select devish tag let's open the individual chats again sorry for that control c because of that we are doing the same process okay now it's working fine now what we have to do here is we have to make this folder as a static to make any folder static and to get access of any folder via the endpoint we have to use the app dot use provide the endpoint name uh, with help of that you wanted to get access of that folder so let's use the uploads as of now and the second thing is we have to use the express package and express package have a static method 
and here we have to provide the folder name which we wanted to make the static so suppose this is the folder name and let's make it static and after making it static we can test it as well this is the server url this is the uploads endpoint which we specified and after that endpoint name if we will provide any of the images name then that images we can get access so we can now have access of all the images which we are storing on the backend we are the endpoint of this this is the endpoint okay so instead of this localhost we have to use the ip addresses on our flutter app so let's do it let's render the images on the other user side as well for that we have to go on an individual chat page and in the individual chat page if you remember last time what we did for rendering the own site images so in the rendering the own site images we added this line of code okay so if the source type okay if the type is the source which means we are sending the image on message then the type will be source so we added two condition if it will contain the path absolutely if we have the path the length of the path will be greater than zero so if we have the path length greater than zero which means we have the image attached okay so for that case we have to return the own file card widget okay that is a custom widget and uh, we worked on the I think second last video of this uh, this one to one image sharing okay and if we don't have a path dot lane greater than zero which means we are sending only the text so return the just own message card so this logic we added on the last video because of that only now we are able to render the image so let's add some text here over here okay now the same thing i mean same logic we had to add for the source i mean type which is not source which mean while receiving the message or image we had to add the same kind of logic so the first logic we had to add is if so if these messages so the same logic if this message have the length greater than zero which means we have to return the reply file card which we already created and we have to work on the reply file card okay okay otherwise just return the message so now let's test it okay so uh, let me open this visor and let's test it so if I will say I mean send an image from this side so here you can see that we are rendering a reply file card in the reply file card we don't have anything as of now if I will go on a reply file card code here you will find that inside the card we are not have any kind of child so let me go on own file card in the own file card if you see that in the own file card the card have the children so i'm going to copy the code of the card okay so let me copy the code of the card and i will going to explain you just don't worry so let me add the children and this own file card have three parameter so let me just copy three parameter as well and uh, let's get these three parameter from the individual chat page to the reply file card so i'm going to use the this dot messages this dot path and this dot time so in the child of the card we have the column the first children of the column is the image and the second children of the column is the message which we wanted to render over here let's focus on this default children in the first children we are using the image dot file 
which is the code of the own file card. But now what we have to do that we are getting access of all the images which we stored on the uploads folder via the API endpoint. So you know that we can render the image via the API endpoint as well. And we are getting the path of the image via the messages. Okay. So in individual chat page, whenever we will receive the message. So where we are getting the message, we are getting the, we are receiving the message over here. So on connect, we are receiving the messages and we are setting all the thing over here. Okay. So we are getting the path as well. The path is the name of the image which we stored in the backend. Remember, I showed you that how we can access the image over the browser, right? Instead of using the local host, we have to use the IP address over here for getting the image on our Flutter app. Okay. So what we have to do while rendering the image on the other user app, what we have to do is we just have to use the image dot network because we are rendering the image via the network and we have to provide the API endpoint. The API endpoint will be the server name, the server name of the API. I mean the backend. This is the server IP address along with the 5000 port. And we have to use the API endpoint name, which is the uploads. And the last thing we have to use is the path of the image, which is the name of the image. Okay. So here, if you go on the reply file card, we are not passing anything. We have to pass the path as well. So the path is this. So all the messages we are storing on the messages list. So messages index dot path will contain this path. Okay. It, if the type will be a reply. Okay. So let me provide the path message and time over here in the reply file card. And what is the, okay. Okay. Now all the thing we are passing from here to there, right? So let's hit the save and let's test it that everything is working fine or not. So this is our emulator and this is our other user app. Okay. So let's share another image because that image is not stored yet. So we have to use the another image and let's share it. Okay, your HTTP request fail status code 400. Okay, I guess I made a mistake here. We had to, okay, we haven't passed the path as well. So we had to pass the path which we are getting from the individual chat page to the reply file card. Then only we can render the image. You can see that now we are able to render the image because of this path, this path contains the file name of the image. So for the testing, let's use another. Okay. I think we lost the connection over here in this app. Let me select a Balram, not Dev stack. Let's go on a Balram router. Let's first test the connection that yeah, everything is working fine or not in this side. Yeah, we are receiving the messages. Okay. And let's send a image again from this app to that app. Okay. So here you can see that we are able to receive a image. Okay. Here you can see that we are able to receive the image and it's working fine. So till this video, we are able to send the image from one user to another user. Okay. And it's working fine. So, this is a kind of second last video of this whole series. Now we can send the one to one messages from one app to another app. And also now we can send an image as well from one app to another app. Okay. So I'm just pausing this series. Okay. Till the 5k subscriber. After the 5k subscriber, let's add another feature 
where we can set the uh, location along with the, some kind of PDF attachment from one app to another app. That thing we will going to start after my subscriber count will reach to the 5k. Okay. Till that in the last video, I mean the last video till the 5k, which I will release soon on that video. Let's work on the calls page. Okay. So this thing we are going to work on the last video, which will be, I mean, till the 5k. So the scenario is that, that after the 5k only, I'm going to resume this series. I'm going to start a new series that will be a social media app that can be a uh, Facebook social media or the Instagram social media app. Okay. After the 5k, I will resume this series, the WhatsApp clone series. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe the channel and don't forget to share the channel to your friends. If I will get enough subscriber only, then only I will move forward this series because this series is becoming a kind of a, a complex because I'm adding series. Uh, I'm adding the feature one by one and I really need your support to make me motivated to keep doing this series. It required lots of effort and uh, yeah, you know that to put a lots of effort, we need a get back as well. So please support me. Please share the video to your friend. If I will get enough like, enough comment, enough subscriber, I will make sure to make a new videos on this series as well. Till that happy coding. See you on our next video.